But all right, we have finally made it to the finale of Bluey season three. And I could say that this is the finale finale that we have for now until we get to see Bluey again in 2024. From the official Bluey uh, media has been teasing that there's going to be more stuff. We're even going to get a 30 minute episode one day, but I don't know when, but we shall see when. And if you want to get to that point, I have my special guest again, my bro, Seuss Goose is here to join me in this finale. Let's welcome him. Yes, sir. Hello, everyone. I'm glad to be back. I heard that uh, the sham here cheated on me a little <laughs> bit, but that's okay. I forgive him. You know, I have a forgiving heart. <laughs> but I'm glad to be back. <laughs> For context, it was just a partnership. It was not nothing too deep. Do not go in the iceberg episode of how deep is this iceberg for him? Of the cheating. sham and the, and the Suscus lore. Because <laughs> it's there. <laughs> but he is here to join me with the finale for this uh, show. Because like I said, for season two, he has joined throughout that whole run. Well, he gets to join in for the finale run as well. So he is a corporate executive person to join in here. <laughs> there, I gave you I gave you that position. No one else has that position. No corporate executive. Let's go. <laughs> Someone said, I wanna What? Oh wait, what? No, like they were saying uh Imagine Bluey Iceberg. I think there is. I wanna be surprised. Oh yeah. I I wanna go and talk about the the one guy, the the dad. Mm-hmm. What is this? He's just the the other dog's dad. Oh, lucky lucky. He doesn't dad. have a wife. Yeah, lucky's dad. But he doesn't have a wife. <laughs> I want I want to know what happened to her. <laughs> I mean, like there was an episode where like the wife was there, but like she was just like absent and like everything else, cause like they were doing like a game, and then she, she was like wrapping the present. And was like, oh, well, this, mm. this 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 and that, and then that's the last time I ever saw her. So who knows? <laughs> She's probably out there somewhere. You know what? Another... I, I should actually put like for this finale, your picture is gonna be Lucky's dad. <laughs> I kind of want to put that. Out. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Just yes, be like, sir. It's like I am Lucky's dad in this. I'm canonizing this whole reaction. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what do you think should be a good like goal for opening to season four once I get it um, to check it out? Like, what do you think would be a good number? Because it will give them enough time to get to there. Because we don't know when it's dropping. Hmm. What was... Last one was like 10 or something, right? Or like... Mm-hmm. Huh. Let's see. Uh, you said you got to go. Your internet's dying. Or it's bad. It's freezing. Disconnecting. It's really bad to watch. Sorry, dude. All good. All good, Dale. It's all good. Let's, let's do 6 because of GTA 6. All right. You already heard <laughs> or... it. Or... We can do 11 because it's 11 years until GTA 6. <laughs> so you already heard what my bro said. With 11 likes, we will definitely continue it. Just like GTA 6, we could get delays like this, but who knows. But 11 likes and we will continue to season 4 if it drops way too early. Maybe it drops uh, in the summer. Maybe it drops in the winter. We don't know when it drops, but 11 likes is the goal for this. And let us see where this whole thing brings up to us in this whole accumulation of season three. And this was reacted on my Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash the sham life. So if you click the link in my description, you'll be redirected to see me, the sham, check out stuff like this or some other stuff or even doing some gaming. And also don't forget to drop a subscribe. That way you're not in the dark of what other stuff I check out besides Bluey here on the channel. So let me not waste any more time. And let us jump into the finale. Uh, Silk Goose! (laughs) Another character? Another character? We got a construction crew. No worries, Chili. He knows Mum's name. And you're sure it only takes (laughs) three days? They know Mum's name. It's like, what else do they know? Is it three or is it three or is it four? What will be three or four? I don't know. Oh, no. There could be such a... (laughs) bad joke out of this <laughs> what's saying there's three or four what are they talking oh, about girl. what are they doing to chili <laughs> exactly uh, give me that meme of all those guys looking at that one chick well they said three days but now i'm not so sure you know you know they're working hard chili's secretly um a lot kinkier than we think <laughs> just go to the truck 
All righty, don't be long. We've got a lot to do. Where's chocolate milk going? I don't know. I love how it says where's chocolate milk, but the subtitle said where's coconut milk going. Mm-hmm. Oh my phone. gosh, I know someone got fired oh, out of that. Oh, sorry, boss. <laughs> then Big Belt called chocolate milk that word Dad said when the mower didn't start. Oh dear. Are they working hard? Chocolate milk isn't. <laughs> He's on his phone all the time. Bro, this is, <laughs> this is literally me at my work where I'm like, I'm just like doing my days. job. Do I have that one person in my job that's like on their phone. Yes, someone that's I'm trying to overly to work too hard. Enemies. I was like, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta compensate for the guy who's on his phone. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was gonna say the other thing. <laughs> I was like, oh no, he's saying it. Cherry? Oh my god. They look like enemies. Yeah, they do. They're literally, they're literally witnessing a relationship breakdown. Damn. They're breaking up. Time for dinner. Day two. We've broken up. <laughs> oh, it actually did happen because he's with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where's Cherry? We're gonna see like the whole progression of this episode. Be like, we've broken up, but now we're back together, and now we're married. Oh, we also have a kid. He said he. We're having a kid to save this marriage. <laughs> but then he's going back for the chocolate milk. Maybe that's What else did you say? Never comes back. Cherry call. No. What? <laughs> Why are they so invested with this story? About oh my god. Are they like okay. related to them or something? The word you said when well, the I, I don't think so. Work. I think they're just workers oh, These enemies are uh, working to do something. I wonder if anyone wants this spare ice cream. Bingo! <laughs> Uh, oh, oh Bingo would get kidnapped so easily. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. No, Cherry is chocolate milk's enemy. Chocolate Cherry milk. is chocolate oh. milk. Oh. And Chippy. He and Cherry are enemies at the moment. Do you think enemies can ever become friends? In yeah. a way, yes. Because this is oh, a moral yeah. <laughs> sandwich, Freddy Fazbear. There is no Freddy Fazbear. It's just a dog. You're kidding. Oh. I mean, if you're going with the reference of the trash can saying, oh, is that Freddy Fazbear? And put the sound. Art, art, art. <laughs> Damn, they even have the water feature. Uh, uh, Damn, Louis's parents got money. Look at that, the water feature to make it move. Lily pads. They got koi fish in there. Damn, that's a luxury. Never mind, I actually do want a pond now. Damn, dude. And you did it in three days. Oh, what? where's chocolate milk? I mean, Chippy. Chuck. Not going with you. Nah, he's got a lift. <gasps> Did they work it out? Yes. Ah, they worked it out at the end. Except that they were just <laughs> they were already spying the whole day. <laughs> they had nothing better than to just spy on people's lives. Mentiches, huh? <laughs> yep. <laughs> They're the embodiment. Just like me, for real. <laughs> what is it? They're the embodiment of the Mexican moms that. They tell the stories when they're doing laundry. They're like, "Oh, I've heard from the from the corner that they did this." It's like, "Damn, why are you guys just spying everything?" Always listening. <laughs> the champ. <laughs> now you want to do it again? Quiet, oh no, sweet. not muffin. Not sure. The chaotic characters oh, look, here again. Doreen's having a garage sale. Do the garage sale, Doreen. Garage. Ah, the way that they say it, garage. Yeah, garage. Holiday to the reef. Well, if someone buys Len's old scooter, that'll help. But you need, you need someone. Uh, what's it called? Um, fat for that one. Decide what sort of That makes it hilarious. Anything, Granny. I'm gonna be a kind Granny. What sort of Granny can I be? No annoying one. The I'm Karen. Not sure there are any other types of Granny. Be the Karen. Uh, it's not fair. I know I wouldn't get to be a granny. See, ah, that's, that's why you would be the best you one. Be you would be a Karen granny. granny. Oh, yeah. yeah, you could be a Karen <laughs> granny. <laughs> Look at that light. Like, she's even doing the imitating <laughs> face of it. Oh my god. Okay. You're going over too many cracks. It's a full path. Don't talk it's like walk slow. To I'm gonna fall off. I feel like uh, she would be the granny that would uh, say the racist slurs and she'll be like I don't care. Like 900. Yeah. Like, Do you know what you just said? I know what I said. Uh, cigarette grandma. 
that See, scared granny me. Granny is a bit too grouchy. <laughs> Are you sure there isn't another type of granny? There might be, but mm, I just don't what know. What would be another what granny? Is, do you? Like, let's think of granny yeah. archetypes that we could I'll think of. Granny. Besi uh, granny with oh, Alzheimer's. $5. The one that always forgets everything. <laughs> yeah. Who are you again? <laughs> it's like, I'm your son. I never you had a son. The pug. There you go, grouchy grandma right there. Bro, the way it walks is hilarious. And the way that it's, it's a pun. <laughs> oh crap. Are we gonna see a granny fight? <laughs> Bro, they're assaulting this man. She's the insulting oh, granny. <laughs> she will insult now, you. <laughs> No. no! I told you, it's $900! <laughs> a lot of this is just water wave. Oh, he's going secure now! Stay out of a $200 oh. final offer. $1,000! <laughs> what? You're dreaming. Let's see how this plays out. Oh, <laughs> she's a scheming <laughs> one. <laughs> well, no. I'll paint it. Oh, yeah. It jiggles. No! It jiggles. Oh, oh my gosh. And then 100 What? <laughs> and 18 lollies. Oh, you no, you little. can't ask for that. <laughs> You're gonna get oh on the watch goodness. list, Muffin. Oh, Why are you asking oh. for that? <laughs> Dude, they... They, <laughs> they really scammed her. Oh. They did. <laughs> You're gonna get a new one for that price. <laughs> she wants to be a super granny. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. How much you want for it? Oh, I don't know. What do you think? One dollar. Twenty bucks? Hmm. Fifty. Oh. She started becoming a bidding grandma. <laughs> Damn. What did we learn? That we should scam grandmas. Yep. Because they will you give know, their life savings. <laughs> <laughs> go tell your grandma right now to go buy uh, $5,000 in gift cards. <laughs> and just say, I'm going to give them to charity, but in reality, you're yeah. going to keep them for yourself. <laughs> and if she doesn't buy the 500 gift card, she's going to jail. Because you're <laughs> actually a part of the FBI. <laughs> she's going to be the one that's going to be sending the... How much? Like, Did they ask for like the Nigerian prince? Like, yeah. That email scam? <laughs> they want this amount of money. Like, She'll be the one to do it. Damn. This is a bad you moral. You got to tell her... You're going to jail. The only way you don't is if you give me your social security number. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is a horrible lesson that they learned from this. <laughs> Bro, that's not good. No, the, the lesson is to not scam people. Well, they did scam someone, so I don't know about that one, Chief. I know. <laughs> It's like the lesson not to learn, not to scam, bro. They did scam someone. All right, here we go. We're having another adventure. First, we did the Is army, okay and now we're going on the yeah, ship. You know the most about. Them. How about you're the chief scientist? What does the chief scientist do? He tries to figure out everything. What? He fixes stuff. So he's basically Where the captain of everything. We could go to Mars. Or That's basically like his job. Earth. Let's go to Mars. The captain of the Titanic. <laughs> no, it doesn't. We're gonna crash. He's going down with it. We're going to Mars. Rusty, there's no aliens on Mars. Oh no. Is that is that dog a uh, overthinker saying that there's no life? Oh no. <laughs> there is life out there. You can't believe that theory. Hey, scientist, maybe you can. Whoa. What the hell? What was that? We hit a meteor. Oh no! It's actually called an asteroid. I'll just. Thank you, nerd emoji. Okay. I did not need to Good know. To actually. <laughs> How's it look? It really does sound like it would be. Um, it actually, it's an asteroid. Um, like oh gosh. I thought you said there wasn't any more meteors. They're called asteroids. Oh there my. Wasn't. <laughs> oh, what? That's impossible. He literally went into space. That would be I scary. Like going into satellite. space and then drifting away from it. Uh, into like bare space. We'll have to land on the moon and fix the ship. I wonder if that actually Alien, did happen. Three, that people actually two, ended up one. like 
quality Drifting dogs. away, yeah, she like, they're doing, they like, their jobs, and then out of nowhere, like, something mm-hmm. happened and they go sure. into space. Maybe Deuteron is damaged, too? Like, is there the Maybe. bodies, like, in... But how did your tether become a... Fields? Out there? I don't know. That did happen this one. Mackenzie? Finished. Well, I don't know. I have to search it up. Mackenzie? Mackenzie's gonna kill themselves. She was, I mean, he was already thinking about life. He was like, I literally could have been dead in space. This is your tether didn't break, did it? You unhooked it. Is that true? You're right. Mackenzie was trying to kill themselves. Oh my god. Leave me behind. Are you sure we can't go to the black hole? No, it doesn't have aliens. Neither does Mars. Oh my, stop saying that there's no aliens on Mars. Yes, then what the hell do you explain the certain stuff that they're finding? <laughs> there's snouts. <laughs> I want to change course. What is the new destination? The black hole. Uh, I guess Mackenzie. What? <laughs> the goal is just let's kill ourselves. Let's go, team. <laughs> What's going on? And where's Mackenzie? Mackenzie hung himself with the oh, oh, rope. Again. And there it is. <laughs> Damn. That's Mackenzie. a fire shot right there. What are you doing? But I want to go in. I have to. What? Why? Because I'm the chief scientist. It's my job to figure everything out. Wow. No, if that's actually you. like the actual job for it, then that would be like the most dumbest I'll job. I'll be like, home. peace. I'm not doing that job. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to stay home. <laughs> are you sure? It's like, we're not going in black I'm holes, sure. I don't want to die okay. and become spaghetti, so... Oh, yeah. No, sir! Okay, now we know this is Cab because he would have been spaghettified. <laughs> What's on the other side? Holy shit! We're in the huh? portal! <gasps> Mom? Oh, I remember this. This is, Mom? This is the flashback. Oh, damn. We set course to Mars, Deutatron. He transported yes, to Dad. the other life. The <laughs> he went He's back gone. in time. Are yes, you sure? he went you back in time. To to my- you don't need to keep coming back to this place. What? Okay. Now run, Mackenzie, go! Get out of here! What the heck? Kenzie's taking on, acid! And is flirting with the aliens! <laughs> yeah, what's happening here? Mackenzie! <laughs> <laughs> These edible and shit! <laughs> I'm so confused. Come on, we should have Yeah, like, I don't, I don't get what the flashback Mars. was. Like saying go back. <laughs> I'm so confused. I was so confused. Like in this whole episode, uh, we, we need an episode, not episode 36, season three. Bluey explained. <laughs> <laughs> we need the writers. Let, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's let's see what my brother says. What is the knowledge of this episode? To not be left alone. That you should always go with your friends. That you should never be alone, or because that will lead to a deep depression. Okay, well there you go. We got the child. We got the child. Oh, shit. <laughs> we like if we're going in the black hole, we're going together. If we're dying, we're dying together. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about to that. The deep depression. There you go. Take those antidepressant pills. They will help you out. And this is not sponsored by any of those pills, so obviously what? do not go with this whole message. We're just talking out of our ass. What? <laughs> Shampoo. Shampoo again. Condition. <laughs> the sound effect was so bad. Why brush? It sounded like it was sharding. And it's important, sweetheart. Weird chow chows. We know. Chow chows. chows? Damn. Now Sometimes that's a dog I that I want. Know. Something that's called a chow chow. That character, that character yeah, Wendy, yeah, the one that's yeah, that did the hair. Yeah, she is really uh-huh. something else. Like she is, yeah. for sure, a crazy <laughs> character to have. In this show, <laughs> like she has, like, what was that episode that I was watching? Like she was showcasing that she could do Pilates like well. She has some toned legs. That even Bandit got mesmerized. He was like, "Whoa, look at those legs!" Like he was thinking about someone else than Chili. <laughs> we don't know. Dog in him. That's why he's not home. <laughs> to play in the dirt then yes this dirt is very dirty Why wow in this epi- in this episode they really look like peppa pig and george because they're playing with the <laughs> mud lovely hair. we could say yes. that bingo is george and 
Peppa, Peppa is Bluey. Have hair. We're watching Peppa. Uh, I can't believe that. Oh my god. Iron Man. <laughs> exactly, that's Iron Man's first suit. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's canon. <laughs> Iron Man was in Bluey. <laughs> Judo. Judo? What does Rapid do? Oh. Damn. She wants to be the I'll lone be wolf. Right She's like, I have no friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mom, oh. Mom, what are you doing? I'm going short. Daddy. What? Daddy. She's cutting her hair. She's trying to make a statement saying, I'm going to go bald. <laughs> She's going through her Britney phrase. Dude, she's so pale! Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap! Did it, did it! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, <laughs> They're bald for me! They're like, I don't like my bald people! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just have that one question. Why do they need the dirt? Morning again, Wendy. I have no idea. That's hilarious. It just has nothing. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Like, she's become an important character in this whole season now. She's with Bandit more often. It's gonna be, um... Uh, Chili and Bandit become polyamorous. Season 4, episode 1. <laughs> that's why it's 30 minutes. I moral. Yeah, I that's why it's 30 minutes. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. We're getting the moral lesson from my bro. Let's see. Bro, what is the moral in this one? It's always okay to be different. It's, it's okay, okay to be different. It's okay to be different. I thought it was like, don't be uh, prestigious because uh, even if you're rich, you got to act this like everyone cool. else. This I don't is know. Because cool. cool. apparently that, that's what we were getting. It was basically the rich kid getting invited by the common folk and they were saying why don't you become a common folk I was like, because i don't want to i want to be today. myself but this no we'll they went today. with the whole thing damn talking about my brother with the soccer shirt they're watching something with sports there you go and look at that there's another cannon lucky's dad has another kid oh my gosh dude we're learning new stuff Frisky got tickets. I think. No way. Like Frisky. Well, look, bingo. Frisky is. is... Ah, crap. I'm trying to remember. My YouTube chat uh, will probably let me know down in the comments. <laughs> Damn. Bucko. <laughs> They're playing Madden. Mad 23. <laughs> They're about to do the suey dance. Hold on, hold on. Wait for him. Wait for it. Obstructed the defender on the way through. His name is Chucky. Wow. Like the doll. Crazy. The lore. <laughs> and damn, this is like the only time we're going to see her again until season four. Damn. Damn, like. <laughs> She went from not appearing to just appearing the whole the whole episode with her. Yeah, exactly. And also this new character, Chucky. Like, I haven't seen this character. Uh -huh. He has to choose one side. Oh. You can't keep oh, no. Is this a divorce allegory? You do whatever you want, sweetheart. This feels like a divorce allegory saying, where, where does the kid go? Like, look at this. Does it not yeah. give you that sense? <laughs> Bro, the neutral face that they gave on that is so bad. I'll be purple. No worries, sweetie. Oh my god. Yeah, I'd get a divorce right then and there. 
what if actually does happen? That's why there there wasn't a second episode after this one. <laughs> they got a divorce. The <laughs> They're like, <laughs> wait till season four when it opens up that Lucky's dad has the two kids. <laughs> oh, there they are. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> now everyone's together. Come on, the green and gold. Yeah! Oh, so they, do, they all have a favorite team among everyone. Let's do this! Bandit is so committed with the yeah. team. Yeah. They're making enemies anywhere. What's going on? Meanwhile, Mackenzie in the backseat wanting to kill her stuff. <laughs> True. <laughs> Oh, that's so adorable. That's the good ending. <laughs> so what is the moral of this episode? Let's see. Let, let us hear the lore out of this moral. Let's see. What do you think it is? Uh, Got nothing. Just well, sportsmanship. Well, <laughs> <laughs> sportsmanship and obviously uh, there's no divorce. Your mom can be a loser. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter between your choices. It's always about what your heart depends. What your heart wants, what your heart is leading on to. Hmm. The heart wants what it wants. Uh, 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 uh. That's the song, right, by Selena Gomez. Mm hmm. Oh my god. Like try to put the like five seconds of it. <laughs> try to get it clean. <laughs> what are your thoughts of this whole run that we had with Bluey? I think it was Bluey is a great show. I think uh. They need to put more of a... What was the guy who ended up with the babysitter? Uh, I forgot their, their name. Their uncle, right? Something like that? Huh? Mm-hmm. Who? Oh. Yeah, they need more of that guy. Oh, that's Frisky. Frisky was the... What's it called? The the babysitter. That's who oh, it was. okay. I was trying to remember. I was like, oh, Frisky is the babysitter that got with the guy. And I was like, oh. So she got invited. So she did a small little cameo in the last episode. But that's not Frisky. That was. Yeah. She was in there. And then and they need more suicidal dog, Mackenzie. <laughs> more suicidal <laughs> Mackenzie saying that, I want to be alone. <laughs> yeah, I want to be alone. I'm going into the tunnel to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> and the other line, on the other side, I just saw aliens. <laughs> My gosh, that is a crazy episode of Almost going into the finale. But... Honestly, I enjoyed this run, and I hope you guys enjoyed this run. Obviously, uh, by the time that I post this, and by the time I do a whole compilation of it, I hope you enjoyed this whole run, and I hope you enjoyed this reaction between me or some other people I had, which I'm including myself as cheating in this whole allegory, and also some with my bro who has joined this whole ride with me. And all I can say, it, it is a good show, and it's... It has morals. It has everything that you would expect. It's better than a whole bunch of other s stuff that has been shown. I and, was barely in it right now. And yeah, and my bro finally got in in, in, in one of these. So obviously that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Telling these morals. And I hope you guys liked it. Oh my gosh, dude. I actually love this show a lot. If I were to give it a rating out of 10 among all the seasons I've, I've seen of this, I'll give it a nine because how you were saying we need more suicidal dog in this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I had fun. 